Hi, I'm Susie from Nail Care Education. I want to show you this beautiful shell design. It's surprisingly very easy to create. Let's have some fun. So I prepped my nails and I've saved one so we can do this together. I was at the Kira Sky booth, so I'm gonna grab one of their beautiful colors. I'm sort of doing a sea motif. Um, mermaid comes to mind with some of the colors that I'm using. I will say the Kira Sky gel polish goes on very, very smoothly. It's quite nice. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I'm just showing you some things I learned at the International Beauty Show. I've got the milk bath nail under there, but this should cover it pretty good. You know, when I'm doing gel polish, I'd rather do two or three very thin coats than one or two thicker coats. Gel polish much prefers a thin coat to dry better, to cure, pardon me, under the lamp. So here's a funky light. Look at this thing. Again, not sponsored at all. I just grabbed some things that I have been given and I wanted to just use them. So starts at 30 seconds. Wow, that's interesting looking. It reminds you of something. Something I saw at Area... Hockey puck? No, well, no, something I saw at Area 51. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's uh, pretty cute. I'm going to give this a 30 second nuke and I'm done. Look at that, it turns off automatically. Okay, so I'm just going to give it another coat. I coated the other ones ahead of time just to save us some time. I like to get to the design. But I still want to show you what I put on. So I just sort of saved one finger. That looks pretty good. That covered actually quite nicely and it's not a super thick color. Now I'm gonna do a light coat on all of them because I need them sticky for the next step. Okay, so I'm just going to give a light coat on everybody. And the reason I'm doing this is I need this tacky, a fresh coat. I need a nice fresh coat on this for the next step. Now you can do this part I'm going to show you with nail polish actually. So if you've got some nail polish, you can do this design with that as well as this gel polish. Now the Kira Sky in particular, it needs a 30 second nuke. This color just makes me think of mermaid when I see it here, I'm gonna show it to you. That just screams mermaid to me, doesn't it? Okay, here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is a bit of an ombre in all of them, except my accent finger. I'm going to do a little bit different shape. So let me just spread the other fingers out so I don't get anything on there. And I'm going to just take this makeup brush, actually. It's just an eyeshadow brush. What kind of... It's called the eye crease, so it's just a fluffy... I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> but I did have some nice brushes. And then I'm literally just going to dab on the glitter. Now for these ones, the pinky, I'm going to actually dip in the other ones. I'm going to dip it just to get a solid tip. And then I'm just going to ombre the glitter on. I'm going to dip the next one. And then I'm going to ombre. You can drop it too. You can go like that, pick it up and drop it. But you can do this with nail polish too. Just get yourself some glitter. And you just, just gently, I'm going to dip this one. You don't have to dip it. I'm just doing it to get a stronger, intense color in the tip. And then I'm just softly, oh, that's so pretty. Dabbing, it seems to work. So I'm just going to check it this way and make sure that it's nice. Graduated. That makes, I just hate a line across there. So I'm just adding a little more glitters. I just really emptied my brush kind of and then just kind of went in a little bit and just dusted it softly. Oh wow. That's 
so pretty. Okay, so that is already cured with the glitter that stuck to that. So if I want to secure this design, I need to top coat it. And that's what I'm going to do now. Just going to top coat each and every one. And that'll really bring out the glitter. That'll hold the glitter right in there. And then I'm going to nuke it. Then I'm going to do the easy, ever so easy shell design. You could do a unicorn design with this as well, but we're just going to do particularly the shell shape. It's really just the shape, really. Okay. So now you can use your top coat gel, but you want a thicker gel. So make sure it's just a thicker one. I've got a top coat here in a potted pot. And I am just getting a very skinny the brush. See how skinny that brush is? See how I got it in sort of a teardrop shape? I'm going to take that in the bigger part because it's a bigger teardrop. And I'm going to make sure that the teardrop is the bigger part. And then you pull it to make it small. Okay, and this is why you don't want a runny top coat. So I'm taking a big and then pulling it little. Okay, bigger, pulling it little. That really gives the shell look, the shell shape. If it's bigger in one end, and then pull it little. Now I've tried this without the sparkle and it's also very, very cute. But I went with the sparkle because, I don't know, Every mermaid I've seen has glitter. We're almost done. See how quick that is? And then just bring it right in. We do one more near the cuticle. Just make sure you bring that long tail. And that's it. That's how easy that is. We just have to cure it. There's no top coat because you used a top coat. If you did a top coat that has a sticky dispersion layer, you do have to wipe that. But if it's a no wipe top coat, you're good to go. When this is done, we can check out the pictures. Let's check them out. Well, that turned out really cute and not too hard. And it's very, very quick, which reminds me, I do have some classes coming up September 15th. It's a one day workshop in Vancouver. I'm holding this event in the heart of downtown Vancouver in a beautiful hotel. We are going to have a really great time. You can go to nailcareer.com and press events and find all the workshops that I'm offering. All the information that you need is on my events page and actually we have it set up. You can just click the ticket and buy it when you're ready. Have you got a few more minutes for a couple of questions? Let's answer some good ones. I can't get over how cute this is. I want to thank Terry from Cura Sky for inspiring this design and showing me how to do it. Let's answer a few questions. I've got a couple of good ones here from Chrissy. She says, hi Susie, I love your videos. She needs my opinion. She's been going to the same place for years. And the last few months, I've noticed the same two nails have been breaking. Not sure why this is happening. Should I suggest switching to gel? See if that works. It's frustrating, of course. Yes, well, two nails will break. It's probably on your dominant hand. And it's probably the busiest fingers, which is most likely these two. Sometimes the thumb. So if you're getting a constant break over and over and over, and your tech is trying their best to compensate and make it a little thicker in certain spots that it might need to be, and you're still breaking it, it's just the overuse. It's not really the product. It's really on what you're doing. I mean, our nails are busy, so they do break. So yeah, I wouldn't switch necessarily. If you've got a good tech and they're doing what they're, they're doing good at it, then I would stay, just make it a little bit thicker. Great question. Let's check out the next one. This is from Nails. How long does it take to be a nail tech? 
That's a really good question. Everybody's so individual. This is art. This is actually takes quite a lot of time to learn how to do it. You have to make a lot of mistakes before you get to the point where you're really good at it. You could do that in a six month time frame where you're actually taking clients if that's what you want, or it could take you a, a couple of years if you've got another job and you're taking your time to learn, depending on what you're learning, how you're learning, who you're learning from. So it really depends on your own individual learning pattern, but you could fast track it to about, you know, four to six months, but that would be going at it every day. That's a great question. Here's a comment from Cherry. Wow, I'm embarrassed to say that I didn't know how to pull off the blue film for my two-year-old LED plate until now. That's adorable, Cherry. That's so cute. So yes, the blue film has to come up on your stamping plates, on your gel, the base of the gel. It just protects the finish until you pull it off. And when you pull it off for the LED lights, it makes it more reflective, right? When you pull it off for your stamps, you can actually pick up the design. <laughs> That's adorable. We've all done that. So that's how I know that that can happen. Thanks for joining me, you guys. And I will catch you in the next video. See you soon.